Coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see them. Have fun. Freeze! We're moving, we shoot. Go ahead. Enough of this. Hulk, break your shit! He a soldier operator? Coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Nope. What's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Real joy to work with. Real joy to look at, too. Looks are what people notice first. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same... Give it a rest. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Money, Merc. Every last gill. Here we go. 
It's over. Is that it? We've got company. Should be easy. Enough. It's over. No holding back. Shit. Let's do this. See ya. Let's go. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako's storage? <clears throat> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Whoa, wait! It's over! That's my line. He's alone! We can take- You got this. Make it right! Get ready. That's that. Enough. See ya. We're back. Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. Good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <clears throat> well, what are you waiting for? You know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close?
Tifa and I. Suarats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <laughs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. Should have asked for more money.
for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Time Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to kill me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Shit. What? One zone. First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I. Uh. Though for all I know. A soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm -hmm. Guess that makes you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. Never in doubt. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? You're calm, Merc. Pretty cocky, ain't you? <gasps> you double crossing! Heads up! What in the hell? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plated, but the internals should be overloaded. Lightning magic. <laughs> no other option, huh? Coming at you, boy! Hell yeah! You 
see the damage that did? Keep it up. Get ready. It's on you. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? <laughs> it's my time to shine. <laughs> or go down in flames. Bang, bang. If we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Let's go. Huh? It didn't work. Now give them hell. My turn. <laughs> oh my! Watch it learn. Still. <laughs> ah, damn it! This thing is tough. It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion! Coming at you hard and fast! Damn it! Gotta do something about that barrier first! Bring in the heat! Come on! It's 
wide open! Gonna light it up! Thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Where should be covering our way out? Go, go, go! Soldier boy, 
They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! It's all the ticket! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. All right. It's over. Deal with that. Yes, it's my turn! Is that it? Special delivery! Bring it home! Hang back. Let's go. The other's away. Gotta get the hell out of here, ASAP.
walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. That was pretty cool. All right, come on. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right then, lead the way. You got it! Huh. Watch out for live wires, they're everywhere! Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. What is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far! That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! <laughs> you sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fire. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of the No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merc's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor. And the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah. We always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. 
Your fears. Your worries. Your concerns. And yes, your fees. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it. Once we're back at base. you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <clears throat> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Cars no use, so what do I do? They better make this right. Who the hell are they? I guess someone lives on one of us. then
You're not real. You're dead. I am. I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. For the planet to die, so many things will be lost. Your hometown, the planet is so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. My girlfriend's waiting for we me. We have to get out of here. Too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> 
It's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. <sighs> Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell f- <laughs>
close call. Be advised! Target approaching residential area! Steel hole action immediately! Target sighted! Get him! It's all or nothing now.
Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Look, yes. We've Bell got a crowd to hide here. Head to the front of the train and hold that. Reactor one. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. The others made it. Just wanted to be I haven't been down on the surface of this. Stop that! Right so now! Oh, never mind. Sorry to disturb you. Hey, got a sec? Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. Just leave me alone, all right? You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8. You're holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Why don't you well, learn to take a hint, not. buddy? Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Mr. Just Mr. called in sick. A little help, Cloud? Please? Sure I can't Sector stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made no, shouldn't have produced an explosion that, that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't a reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I can't believe I survived that. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <sighs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just... Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
those fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not. There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting, she'll worry. How about it, baby girl? Huh? Not uh, long now, honey. <laughs> that is almost home. So the Mako? What kind of parents is she? Some crazy on the house? Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures.
you again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Mongo place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. People who died all return to the planet? Of course. Hmm. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all of this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not <laughs> good. I don't know what it is. So you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies What's Shinra tells you to. to us? So, how will this affect It us? wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. 
Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it- There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. What? You gonna wake her up? Hey! You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. 
If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. My husband decided to go to the state. Just imagine if rich people start thinking it's... Heard's about you. Steps the family shipments. Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of money soon. It's a sad day when people can't warm up what's in their wallet. What's happening? Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. There's so many people Barrett's there. not making his rounds, too. Take your as long as I get it all today. Take your time now. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here... Maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want are straight from the plate. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Mm -hmm. Can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This isn't first. Nothing to report. Maintaining being a spy is so cool. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? You working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.
Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. The you watch is saying they're gonna step now? up their game. Five years, give or take. Ow. Ain't they shorthanded? Uh, but Absolutely. never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons store. Trains don't start moving again. We're gonna have enough food and other goods to go around. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Mm -hmm. Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there for... Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha, what about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What, you some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. Huh. We'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Hold on. We're having the light. You got this. You got this. Someone looks like they're having a Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricade is supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. 
that who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Good luck, Sifa, and be careful. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first <laughs> challenger. Show me what you got, Cloud. Let's do this. That's that. Enough. It's over. Wow. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Get ready. <laughs> Here we go. Charging in like it was nothing? You too. It's a little surprising. Gotcha. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. And by the way, that one's gonna be it. This is lesson. Well, you gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. There's no escape. All right. I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, Folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Searching for candidates. I hear you so. Hey, you just opened up shop. Oh, oh, Got new numbers for Monster Slaying this month. Check them out. Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <clears throat> oh. You okay? <sighs> I'm fine. been meaning to ask, after you left the village... <laughs> it's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on the part? No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Hold on. Check out our selection. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. <sighs> Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? 
Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Don't be a stranger! Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Searching for candidates. Oh, hey there, Chiefa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate! My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Please set the orb of assessed materia to your equipment and use it to gather battle. Please set the orb of assessed materia to your equipment. Do me proud now, and, and I just might have more work for you later. Got to admit, the what? That landlady mom. Sure. What's gonna happen to Mika? My husband decided to go to Just imagine if rich people fit so bad. Might have to close up shop. Hey there, Tifa. Welcome back. And you. The new Merkin town looking for work, right? Yeah. 
In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were-rat buddies have been tearing up town, looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were-rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. The items you can walk straight down the cliff. Another day. They're nothing. Compared to us, It's over. I don't see any green rats around. What do you think? Should we wait? You know, this might be a waste of time. Let's head back to the store and touch base for now. Hey, this looks like a... Got the latest and greatest Shinra brand. Hello, hello! Right oh, what do we have here? Yet. I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Shops on Colbert Street, stock goods you won't find in the correct establishment. So I was at the hunt for the Tommy's not a bad guy. Yes, enjoy yourself. It's like they don't even Time to shut your stuff! I might have dinner. We won't be getting any. Hmm, which one are you thinking? Well, you get so lively to this. I suppose. Who's gonna ride it? You can't hide forever. Please. You never know. If the planet's a living being. Factory's off. Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Let's end this quick. Get ready. See ya. Let's do this. So long.
try this. That's a win. Don't hold back. Worked up a good sweat. Just like that, okay? I got ya. Happy hunting. Report said the drakes looked like they were nesting. Need you to clear them out. Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did ya? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... No, I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. May not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? That went well. Could be you found your calling. 
Eh. Was all right, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? Serial numbers filed off. Solid. You ever take a... Something's wrong. Let's check it out. I hope he's okay. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Somebody like went that? and stole some blasting aid from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've gotta save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. He needs to get his act together. He's got balls. He loves to help, you know. Come in, act like they What the hell, man? You trying to break my arm? Dragging me through the street like this is cruel and unusual punishment! Come on, let's get a closer look. Model citizen of Midgar. Model citizens don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You got it all wrong. I've never thought anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. Uh. <laughs> your ID is never lost, but it never got you inside a Shinra installation in the first place. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the hoop! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. <laughs> All right, see ya. You're mine! <laughs> Sorry. Enough! That's enough! <sighs> Deal with that. I got it. <laughs> What now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! No! Uh, you're not gonna hold up! Wait! Don't! Don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss. You ain't never gonna see my face again. I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but it's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. Hm. 
We need to go before they wake up. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So, what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. In that case, want to head back out and look for more gigs? Of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. <laughs> would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. 
Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings, so if it comes down to do or die, if I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. You could still kill some time. Maybe just chill a bit. I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. Kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <laughs> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract? No obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. <sighs> Sorry. I tried. We talked it over, but... In the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. 
This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Uh, be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. Uh, I'll catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. <laughs> that hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. What's up with them? Word is he lives in this town. Just shut up. Hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm. Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Got something to say? What? You looking at me? He's living there. Moving! I'm so sorry. I said move! Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Wall Market. Am I right? Word of advice, Blondie. Don't piss off my friend here. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry. I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. Let's do this. Shinra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. Not bad, Merc. I've seen them around here. Some creepy. All the items you can find. Can't help but take a look. Apparently it was done by a terror. Nothing to report. Sweet time. Uh, uh <sighs> Psych. <sighs> Are you gonna let me in so we can talk in private? Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh, or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. 
something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but if I don't deal with this now, it's only gonna get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. A down payment. Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. All set? Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. <laughs> it's just another job. Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. Hmm. Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! yeah! I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Try that drop. Okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. ID scan! Ready? <laughs> Far so good. All right, here comes the hard part. That is? The fake IDs may have held up, but from this point on, if we get pinged by a scan... They'll come for us. Yeah, what he said. Oh, man. Just like that? No need to worry. They've got cloud, remember? Hey, you do know how to drive, right? Soldiers get mandatory training. Well then, you gonna take my breath away? Make my head spin with your amazing skills? Don't blame me if you get sick. <laughs> We've got company! Someone's having fun. How can I not? Pursued by this, a young 
As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, the flames will never rest! Fight <laughs> <Dying> for me! Room! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Come on, let's push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Huh? <laughs> well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend! We did it! Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail. You passed the test. What test? Driving. Did more than just pass. Not really. You made it by the skin of your teeth, if we're being honest. Whatever. Ah, I bet you held back because I was with you. Didn't want you to fall. So now I'm too weak to stay on a bike? Huh? Huh? <sighs> just hold on tight, will you? What? I might 
be falling after all. Psych? <laughs> oh. oh, would you look at that? It's the end of the ride. We'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. residential areas just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> Housing district, where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. While their reactors were slowly killing the planet, we were living the good life. home once every other blue moon. Mom's an old-fashioned type like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger-licking food even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Ah, uh, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Time to go. You'll find a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. Sorry about dropping in like this again. We'll be chatting mom up in the kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay.
I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? Yeah, like a god. This isn't it. This is amazing. What's this? Let's not. Careful, it's hot. My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. as you like. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can beat one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? <sighs> now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Ah, uh, you know damn well huh? what she means. Uh, uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. <sighs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the gold saucer. Ah, but what do you care? No, I wanna hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years, until finally she caught a break. Top billing. 
Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night... Her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako Storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology. And led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about him. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now. Between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon... He'll get caught up in the flow and... Poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. Mako's the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, whew, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. This guy. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Just need to get past this gate. Wait, where are the guards? <laughs> Looks like someone beat us here. And I don't think it was Jesse. This had better not get in the way of our plans. It won't. <laughs> Don't see anyone. What the hell happened? Hey man, the plaza's that way. Warehouses are further in. Jesse's supposed to be circling around from the back, right? No need for us to rush. Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. What? You're trying to keep us out of it now? Don't be a jackass. We're in this together. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. Guess there's a training center too. Could go a few rounds before the main event. Man, I get really hungry when I'm nervous. Something at home or just need a bite to eat? Vending machines can be real lifesavers. Whenever you're ready, just remind me. Know. You've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way to deal with big groups. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay, let's go over the plan one last time. <sighs> you start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. And us? We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on them. Hey ya. So, what did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But, but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best. Like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. 
so I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? I'll try. Just promise me one thing. When we're older, and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. <sighs> That's the signal! All according to plan. Let's go. Right. Yeah! I don't see any intruders. Maybe they went home. Oh, hey, over there! Tar target sight! Let him out! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a show, man. If only the ladies loved you that much. I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves. <sighs> of course they stole Max here. You ready? Hell yeah! More than you know! Look what I found! Let's give these jerks a taste of their own medicine! Show me your hands! 
A second dance, just the two of us. You turn the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Right. Come on. It's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But, for all the miles on the clock... I'm just as fast as I ever was! At last, a long way to fast Let's do this. No escape. Try this. Get ready. <laughs> I told you we were gonna push it past the red line! Open up the drug! Keep you company! Alright. What a wonderful gift you have to me! In the blink of an eye! Uh-huh. I'll keep you company! Open up the drum! Let's do this! Satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure? Hardly. <sighs> there are higher heights to which you and I can still soar. again. Until then, try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. Damn it. 
Let's go. Right. Run! Run while you can! Friendly! Friendly! Stand down! Your team shouldn't be here. Glad yours is. Come here. Wedge will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. <sighs> okay. Mission complete. Let's make our way back to the lot. Right. Looking a lot more crowded now. Security's out in force. Uh, just what we need. So, are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, we'd only get upset. Why is that? There's a soldier we don't understand. I'll tell him you're worried about him, no? Huh? Many of our citizens have already been disturbed by the alarm. Squad A will set up here to search the suspect. He will establish a perimeter. Roadblocks included. Contain the security. You made it! Over here! The violence against public security will only kill Okay! Florida! Let's go! Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot easier, but. Wait. Where's Wedge? Uh, <gasps> Wedge! <laughs> that was close. We'll go get him. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Not my finest hour. You get hit? Just winged, I think. Uh, or shot! <sighs> really? Let me see. Are we seriously uh, doing this here? Uh, That's... Wow. <laughs> you guys are the worst! Huh? Your ass is fine. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <laughs> Now that was a gunshot. <laughs> Is that a smile I spy? <laughs> it's not safe here. We should go. <laughs> Copy, Copy that. that. So, how do we get back to the slums? with a little trick I've been dying to try out. Residents are to return to their homes and remain indoors until further notice. I repeat, for your safety, go home. I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey, it was those terrorists, right? There has been no attack. 
For your safety, please go home hey, and remain indoors you, until idiot. further notice. Move your vehicle. Got places to be. An emergency has been declared. All civilians have to remain indoors. This cooperation is Right, this is it. Through here and we're home free. Where exactly are we going? When we get there, you'll know. Now that I've got my blasting agent, we should have everything we need for our next mission. Sure hope so. Yeah, me too. For your dad's sake. Hey, what the hell, man? Huh? Uh, Todd was just saying how he hopes to come back and try the Midgar special next time. Really, huh? Cloud said that? Sure did. Wants a whole pie to himself. Isn't that right? That's... that's right. Really? Well, okay then. Maybe I'll lend Mom a hand next time. That'd be awesome! Super duper awesome! Should be somewhere around here. Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean, half figured? 50 50 is pretty good odds if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> this is w gonna be wait, fun. Uh, uh, <sighs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't want to complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. Whoa! Oh, Stop it! Oh, oh. What in the hell are you trying to... Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Easy, you'll make us fall! Not if you do first! <sighs> Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. <sighs> no! <laughs> Wait! Give me a minute! No. Why do you have to be such a hard-ass, bro? I ain't your bro. <sighs> Could have done more. Just got hurt. You did enough. You took one for the team. Be proud. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah. Together, we can take on the world. on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> That's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <sighs> Cut that out. <laughs> this way. Think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe? I guess. Cool if we check on them? We'll pass by their places anyway. Huh. Sure. You saw it too, right? This is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. 
Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things, worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. Me wanting to leave Midgar didn't go over some word is over the reactor. Scares me to death thinking there might be more to come. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Hmm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. All right. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. They know about Jessie and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves to play. Hey there, Bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. These little guys are on guard duty today. Okay. Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softy. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. It? Great work. Aw, I missed you too. Oh, big arms. You know about the secret reactor? Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now, for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? No promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, louche, black millie, red jelly. I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. That'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. I stayed up all night thinking about the reactor. Me wanting to leave Midgard and go over You think that statement Avalanche put in was the real deal? Really hope the dreams will be. Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... Can't 
say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? Like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa. showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Ready? You know it. Let's head to the bar. Doing it. Oh, sorry. 
I shouldn't be surprised, so never can tell what weird shit have come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but yeah. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. What did you do to your leg? Did, 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 does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man! <coughs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. All right, everyone, clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some hell for me, okay? Hmm. Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health! Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? Hmm. <laughs> This will help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. <sighs> ah, forgot to give this to you, bro. Your prize for taking the top spot on the darts leaderboard. You earned it. After you guys come back from the plate, maybe we can play around together. All right, let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. All that shooting and screaming. I just got done talking. Avalanche is the real enemy, I said. Moving down on us. It's not a side of 
bombs and stuff are It's unfortunate that you were unable to assist me with my research. Perhaps you'll feel so inclined another time. I'll keep preparing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. My friend missed the train back the other day. I can't wait anymore. All right, people. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Do you think Biggs is... on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really gotta be the day, huh? Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more is coming too. Shut them all down by the date, or we shut another down for you. Ain't on us. Not us. Play it cool. delays. We anticipate that our arrival in Sector 4 will be later than scheduled. The target's Marco Reactor 5. From the station, we take the back streets. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage. And then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. Yeah. Sure. I didn't think word would spread this fast. There's barely anyone on this train. And none of them look happy to be here. Might stand out as a group. You two stay here. First hurdle. Not much of one. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. <sighs> hey, would you mind keeping an eye on things the next car over? I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge before mission. But you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. He'll be fine. Maybe. But I won't be until I know for sure. Be right back. Thanks. So, do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a blight on Midgar. Huh? Their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. 
The reactor will stay online! <laughs> Is that right? Uh, what? You got a problem with that? Do I have a problem with that? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. <laughs> Asshole. You know you're better than that. Hey, this ain't no joy ride. I have nothing more to say to you and your friend. Why don't you go check on Tifa? Quit screwing around. Emergency ID scan in progress. Huh? What in the... No way! Emergency ID scan in progress. Unauthorized IDs detected. Threat level critical. <coughs> Inspection of containment suite initiated. Commencing at the rear of the train. Not good! Get over here! Now! Take care of them, Cloud. Bought it. You have to get the next car. Get over, people. Get the car, too. You want to survive this? I work for Shinra. I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. <laughs> There's no end to them. Three unauthorized passengers successfully control neutralizing threats. Looks like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this. <clears throat> The station will be crawling with security. We gotta jump. Screw that! Need to slow the train down. Sounds like a big plan E. <laughs>
like you. You always know what to say. <laughs> well done, well done. I felt sure we had them, didn't you? Sir. Born survivors is surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. Sir. 
Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. <sighs> sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. <sighs> Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? They're pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more for Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. <laughs> it is so hard to find good help these days. Which is why the President ought to count his blessings. What would he do without me? Remember, we just got to follow the nose. What? Stamp's nose. We look for graffiti, then head in whichever direction its nose points. But pay attention to railway signals, too. You see blue lights, you go on the right way. Job's a job. Jesse was gonna back him up, so it wouldn't surprise me if he needs our help. So let's not keep him waiting. Right. You're not going anywhere! Put up all that stamp graffiti. Without it, we'd be lost for sure. Easy. Ready. 
Filed our report on Avalanche's combat capabilities and our <clears throat> report, report, report. What good do you think a damn report will do anyone? I don't. Have you already forgotten the war with Wu Tai? An enemy spared is an enemy who will repay your kindness with blood. We must crush them thoroughly and completely, without hesitation or mercy. Shinra cannot, and will not, settle for anything less! Will you? But, but sir... If so, I can only assume that you and your men no longer wish to serve in your current positions. Is that correct? We'll prepare the prototype in Section E for immediate deployment. Right now, dammit! Another day, another victory. How do I do it?
Gotta love the irony of Shinra's smarmy lapdog leading the way to its master's destruction. You really don't like Stamp, do you, Bill? It's not that I hate you. I hate the fact that Shinra took a loyal animal like that and co-opted it for their own self-serving agenda. Poor old Stamp. Knock it down. You're starting to sound like Baron. Never mind. It's a good plan. Hey, hold up. This way. Security is a lot tighter than I thought it would be. If they want to stand between us and the rail yard, that's their choice.
This it? Get back!
reports that the feed went down after an anomaly was registered during the test. An anomaly? Or an excuse for your failure to properly prepare the armor? No, sir. All modules were confirmed fully operational. It's far more likely, given the circumstances, that the sensors were overloaded. Is that so? All the sensors in Section E are inoperable. The President. Yes. Yes. Everything is fine, sir. Better, even. There's been a development. Yes. Understood, sir. We know exactly where they were headed. If the armor is intact, then you'd best determine the nature of this anomaly soon. Should you fail to do so, you will deal with our intruders personally. Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry. I treat my people more than fairly. So don't disappoint me. Passages beyond these shipping containers. Let's slip through them. Talk about a tight squeeze. You okay? Yeah. So, you bump into any giant robots like that in Reactor One? Yeah, except a bastard looked like a scorpion. Speaking of which, what would you say that last? Huh? Uh, well... Hmm. Looks dead now. Lo and behold. All aboard.
Just so you know, it's not gonna get any easier. <laughs> when did it ever? and straight on to Reactor 5. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> Only because it is. That there's the reactor support pillar. So what's the plan? After plan E comes F, G, and then H. <sighs> Thought E was the last. <laughs> this here is Section F. We cut through Section G and head for H. A cargo platform in H will get us closer to the reactor. Biggs should be somewhere over there. Looks like the sun's going down on Midgar. Right. Double time. We got a date with the reactor. <laughs> Section G's through here, huh? This is switch for the lamp? Switch for the lamp? This ought to open it. No good? Needs power, I think. That looks more like what we need. Control room. Let's check it out. Maybe no one uses that entrance. I'm getting the feeling no one's come down here for a long time. No plate inspectors, huh? Doesn't look good. Think it works? Instructions for dealing with a power shortage. Kill the lights, and we free up power for the gate and other stuff. Sun lamps. You think these are the plate suns? The closest thing we have to the real thing. Gotta put out a sun just to open a gate, huh? But if we go through with it, the grounders in Sector 4 will suffer. Now or later, sun's going out for good when we blow the reactor. That's true. Let's go. All these lamps. You'd think they'd be able to balance the load by now, though. Maybe. If the maintenance guys or whoever weren't playing hook. The lamps are important. But when you think how much Mako it must take to keep them running, that's gotta be one. Man, look at the size of it. That a console I see near the top of that ladder. They are pretty tall ladder, too. I'll go. Okay. We'll wait down here.
Emergency power supply confirmed. Disengaging locking mechanisms. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Great job, Cloud. Next stop, Section G. Yep. And after that, Reactor 5. <gasps> Not again. Great. I'm sure those things will welcome us just as warmly as before. <laughs> Tell you what, the rot runs deep in this damn pizza. Us, y'all. Just pass through. Going in. Going in. That's a win. No way to cross that. <sighs> Gotta go where the catwalks take us. They busted? Powered down, is my guess. Lucky us, am I right? One less thing for us to worry about. <laughs> Filling the air that we gotta breathe with this shit. Monsters sure seem to like it. What's up with that? It's like in the tunnels. They get twisted by the Mako, but it all goes back to shit. You okay? Yeah. Ha! Ah, going for that material, weren't you? So close, and yet so far. This path's so good now. I'm sure there's another way to get there. Nothing we can do but search. And when we find it, we can find and snag that material. <laughs> Let's end this quick. Not a problem. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Try this. You're done. Get ready. Here it comes. You know the best way to not get lost is to believe that you're not. Mind over matter. Isn't that from one of Marlene's books? Yep, one of her favorites. Loves it when I read it to her before bedtime. Doing all the voices. Life in the Endless Maze. Am I right? <laughs> I remember. Hey, let's take a moment to get our bearings. Still in G, right? Yeah, and to reach Mako Reactor 5, we need to go through Section H. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't spot a connecting catwalk to Section H, did you? Well, we could always do another lap. Go for 10, why don't you? The only other route that I can think of would be. Along the wall. Up for giving it a try? It might not work out, but it's the only idea I've got. Hmm. It's not a bad one. So we're shooting for those giant fans way over there? Okay. At least we've got a clear landmark to guide us. 
Those ventilation fans? Keeping the plates air clean by pushing the smog into the slums. The whole system's designed to make shit roll down here fast. Let's do this. See ya. This one's gonna haunt me. Onto that pipe. Sure seems that way. No fear, no fear. Yeah, no fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. Little fear. Hey guys, uh, you know, these fans are really loud and you chickening out? Hell no! Well, I'm just worried that. Your bony ass is gonna get blown off the side and shit. Enough! We gotta keep moving. Okay then. Follow me. <laughs> no worse than a windy day, huh? One with a tornado warning, maybe? Don't look at the fan. Whatever you do. Right. Just up ahead. Slow and steady, guys. And that's our objective? The cargo platform? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. This is it. The cargo platform Biggs was talking about. Let's not keep him waiting. power you're kidding me needs three lights worth looks like but that's that's all of them isn't it all or nothing let's regroup here if we get lost remember the h1 sign right let's see now closest light ought to be that one By the light of these magnificent lamps, we shall lead our... Needs three lights worth of power. Brighter future. Say what? It's from a speech President Shinra gave, talking up the importance of the sun lamps. <laughs> Brighter future, my ass. Shinra's leading us down a one-way path to darkness and death. Rerouting power. Please wait. 
That's one down. Only two more lights to go. Reinitializing intrusion prevention system. Intrusion prevention? Back online because of us. <laughs> no need to fret, y'all. A few rusty mechs ain't gonna keep us from reaching the reactor. Need to disable two more lights. Here we go. Let's do this. Enough. No holding back. Quick and clean. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll do it. Suck it. Back up the lip. See ya. Was never in doubt. We can move this catwalk. Yeah, lined it up perfect. To the next light. If we can't make sense of this place, we're gonna get lost. Well, at least we know where the big ass things are. Not worth my time. Too bad. It's your job. Makes two lights down. Meaning we've only got one left. The end's in sight, y'all. Should be able to climb down from here. Uh, this a hole, right? That the sector four slums down there? Huh? You want to check them out sometime? I can show you around. We'll check them out now if we fall. The only one we need. To hell with Shinra and their night lights. We're right back where we started. Where was that last light again? Almost done. It's a shame we had to wander around so much. 
Well, no stamps here to guide us. No Jesse or Wedge to back us up either. Yeah. Speaking of which, what should we tell Biggs? I don't want him to worry. If there's no viable path, we'll just have to make one. Drag it out. No need to be, really. <sighs> and that makes three. Enough to finally get our cargo platform moving. Better be. Okay, let's head on back to the H1 sign. I hope that Jesse's injury isn't anything serious. The best thing you can do to speed her recovery is to kick Shinra ass in her stead. I know, I know. And Cloud's got a cover for Wedge, too. up with Bates. Soon enough, don't you worry. He knew we might be late, so he came up with a few ways to kill time. We ought to reach him long before he dies aboard. And we're back at the cargo platform. Get ready, Marco Reactor 5. We're coming. Auxiliary power supply confirmed. Reactivating cargo platform. Cargo platform activated. Awaiting input. <laughs> so long, underplate. I hate you too. Wait, wasn't there some materia that caught your eye? You want to go grab it? You know, I think I do. Thought you'd know this place by now. Service mode active. Access maintenance terminal to complete procedure. Does this control the fans? We 
stop it? Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode. Please complete the maintenance access procedure within the designated time limit. Man, what are we even doing? Give no it all time you for got. you. Wasn't there some... Nah, no time. Wonder what the reactor's like. Dark. Dismal. A slaughterhouse where they put to the plant. Then there's the smell. The Mako. Be ready for it. Right. Hear that, guys? It's the reactor callers. Back in the nest safe. Bring it on, Avalanche. Intruders detected. Engaging countermeasures. Let's do this. Take the lead. Alright! Watch and learn! That is it. Here it comes! Suck on this! Want some more? Time to fry! No! Ooh, this ain't nothing! Huh? Okay, You're doing it! Gonna make your ass fall, okay? Ah! Ha! Give him what's coming Watch to this. him! Watch this! Should be waiting for us up ahead. He's probably worried sick about us. Even after all that fighting, no one's coming for us? No need. This is Shinra City. We could probably have cameras everywhere. <sighs> Why didn't you say something sooner? Way too late to bail now. It's like walking a tightrope. When you're on it, only two ways off. <sighs> Better keep my balance. 
You'd be good at it. <laughs> Almost there. Tifa? It's nothing. Just thinking about it. Some things you never get used to. Yeah. <laughs> Mercy! Wait, Cloud. Where's Jesse and Wedge? Report. Top side's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet I had no trouble securing your route into the reactor. You magnificent son of a bitch! Bring it in! So, where are Come the others? On, man. Jesse got hurt and couldn't make it. Bad? Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. <sighs> Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good. You picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. Little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. Keep these grappling guns close. Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. Excuse me, sir, your tie? Quickly now, quickly! Six ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Where is everybody? You mean Shinra? <laughs> Got spook to clear it out, man. Done. That's that. Five. 
Gloves up. Sure thing, Coach. A little more chaotic, ain't that right? Soldier boy. Tifa. What? How much time we need? Got all the time in the world. This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing? <laughs> we get out the same way we got in. Let's double back. Perfect timing. Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? Attention of every soul in Midgar. Huh? 
What is this? Breaking news from Mako Reactor 5. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. <laughs> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, you guys the Shinra Emergency Operations Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the no first attack in a campaign no of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so, to a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will offer the finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy. I give you Shinra's latest triumph of technology. The Air Buster, your executioner. Huh? <laughs> Engineering on the line. Currently, the Air Buster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <laughs> to the imbecile in charge down there. You are hereby ordered to seize those intruders and bring them to me. But quietly, and there'll be trouble! And their bullshit news is already peddling their false narrative. Attention, all security forces. So we're screwed. Subdue the no, 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 hell no. Immediately. Listen, I repeat. They want to turn this into a spectacle? The then I say let's get them to the command center. Let's take right down now. Shinra's big ass neck in front of everybody. Okay. I'm sold. Attention, all security forces. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center immediately. I repeat. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center right now. Attention all security forces. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center immediately. I repeat. You heard the man. Get Subdue these components the from the air bus to the command them. center right now. It's ready, sir. Component outbound for B-8. Copy, B-8. Intruders! Take him out! Get ready. Opponents are still in transit. <laughs> we'll see about that. Could tamper a little with its loadout. And give ourselves an edge? There should be a console somewhere. This the console you're talking about? Think you can get it to work? Needs a key card. Well, let's find it then.
you find it? Yeah. Good job. Now let's check out that console. M units, huh? I'm guessing that's some sort of component? Yep. An enhancement powered by liquefied materia. Sounds bad. Pretty sure I can divert this unit for disposal. M unit flagged for disposal. Just imagine in their faces when they find out. So far, so good. Right. Let's move! You think they're watching us? Even now? Yep. Probably got a live feed. Nothing we can do about it. Except smile for the folks at home. Cards? Just the one. Two choices. And it's up to you, Cloud. Console talks about big bomber shells. You acquainted? We call them BBs. One's enough to blow you to hell and back. Could divert them and give it a couple less shots to take us out. Make the call. For disposal. Heidegger's got no idea who he's messing with. So where did we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment, I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warrant a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. Get that far. <clears throat> oh, oh. Okay, listen up, y'all. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Those greedy bastards are bleeding it dry. Y'all gotta rise up! Baron, 
Who are you talking to? The people. Put me on TV. I'm gonna drop some truth. A thousand Gil says they cut the sound. Surprise, Rounders! Any cards? Only one. And this time we've got three choices. Take your pick. Hell is this? M unit. Another type of enhancement. You'll call if you want to nix it. Served all right. I tell you what, I ain't never looked forward to an execution more in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. We're about to make fools out of Shinra while the whole damn city's watching. <laughs> Times like these, you gotta save her. Oh no, if you're about to ask me to dance, then don't. Come on, don't be shy. How about you, Cloud? I don't dance.
An AI programming core. Should we discard this or something else? Programming core flat for disposal. Heidegger's not gonna like that. Think we've done enough to weaken the robot? All that we can, at least. It's all good. The stage is set. All that's left is to hijack Heidegger's show. We're coming up on the exit. Tifa, detonator still in range? We should be good. The moment Big Boy goes down, you hit that switch. Right. didn't prepare. Now we just gotta get it done. Status report. We're short on amulets, but tracking down replacements. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass. They're still prepping it! They're here! Hold them back! Buy us every second you can! Keep looking. Time. I'm 
subtle imitation. We were gonna spring the trap anyway. Marlene. That goes for you too, Cloud. Right? You better give her a big old smile this time. If the price is right. <laughs> Get it open? Yeah, from that room over there. Why does everything have to be so damn complicated? You know, the faulty equipment storeroom's that way, too. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure vault. Woo! I like the sound of that. So, how do we do this? It's simple, really. We move the levers at the same time. Got these ones. I'll take left. Which just leaves right, soldier boy. Emergency lockdown is currently in effect. So we need to synchronize our movements? In that case, follow my lead. Nah, Tifa's. Fine, have it your way. Okay, pay attention you two. Shake it off. Three, two, one. Emergency lockdown disengaged. Gotcha. Now that is what I call teamwork. Go team. What y'all got tucked away in that vault, huh? <laughs> this would be the treasure vault? That's right. What's the catch? Need to bypass a high-level security lock. Different from the other one? Same deal. But we gotta do it several times. <laughs> Tight wads. But hearing that just makes me want to rob him more. Yeah. Let's stick it to him. Delta level security lockdown is currently in effect. Okay, guys. You know what we have to do. Copy me? No, Tifa leads. Oh, fine. After you, girl. Gotta get past level one first, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm uh, still getting warmed up. We got this. Three, two, one. Watch carefully. Focus. Three, two, one. Don't rush it. Shake it off. Three, two, one. Alpha level security disengaged. That was great, you guys. Let's keep it up. All right. Three, two, 
One. Um, breathe when I breathe. Focus. Three, two, one. Data level security disengaged. Wow, think we've got this? Hell yeah, bring it on! Ain't nothing I love more than sticking it to shit. Halfway there. Steady, guys. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm uh, still getting warmed up. We got this. Three, two, one. No need to grip it so hard. Got an idea. Seven, seven, heaven, heaven, who are? Seven, seven, heaven, heaven, who are? Hell no. Uh, how about this then? Seven, heaven, heaven, heaven. Ugh. We're doing it my way. Three, two, one. Move yours the same way as mine. Focus. Three, two, one. Gamma level security disengaged. No way! <laughs> you guys are naturals. Okay, final round. Don't lose focus. Three, two, one. Hey, are you even trying? Shake it off. Three, two, one. Delta level security disengaged. Disposal room now accessible. <sighs> Finally. I was beginning to think it'd never end. Hey, yo, Cloud. What's the deal? You really a bona fide soldier? We didn't train for this stuff. <laughs> All that marching with no rhythm? How did you soldier on? Okay, that's enough of that. Let's see what's inside. Soldier. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Accelerated cellular degradation being the most common cause of death by far. This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows the truth. That's right. Thank you for getting someone! Ah! <laughs> what did I tell you? You strike me as the type to go on without a head. Ain't enough hours in the day to hold you to account for all your crimes. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Okay then. Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Mm hmm We do indeed keep on slurping it up, as you say. But for whose benefit, I wonder. 
The true nature of Lunker was known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. As you must surely be aware. Don't you dare try to put this on us! If anyone's going along with your plans, it's cause you brainwashed them! Such methods are beneath me. As are you, my faithful sewerettes. Henceforth, allies of Wicked Wutai, our sworn enemy. Thank you for stoking our people's patriotic fervor. Wutai! The hell we are! <laughs> you still don't understand your role in this! What do they do? Don't you see? You fools were never in control! Never anything but pawns in our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people! And your instruments of insurrection will detonate! Uh. When we so choose! God damn it! Now let us raise the curtain on our main event! Yeah. 
I got this. Not sure yet. Bring it on. Keep it together. Yes, it's my turn.
the line for you or me. Something. Anything. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I... You're everything. Hello in there. Oh, Cloud. There's still so much to be done. Maybe you're not okay. Ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? You're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really. S sorry, I, I didn't mean to- Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one, too. You, and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Bet you just don't know how to use it. Could be. I don't mind. Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. 
You should stay a while. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. <sighs> and who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. <sighs> you don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine. But it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. If you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. Hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. I'll make this quick. You better. Bye. All right. Really? That's that. This is the first I've heard of it. This is a classified op, princess. I don't think that. Here we go. Let's finish this. Hey, little help in here, guys. Get ready. Well fed. Let's do this. Good old what's his face. I hate doing Luna a lot. I'm too good at it! Go 
get the girl. Sir! The hell? Weird. You're not attacking. Hey! Open it up! Come on! Over here! Maybe we can get out that way. Right. Through that hole. Ah! Huh? They saved me. Come on. I'll go first. Scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move it, I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! <laughs> Could drop that. Okay. What's the hold up? I can't get to her! Should we pursue? Stay ahead of them. Prep for Xville. Or not. <gasps> they gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think... Actually... I don't know. Let's just go.
Okay. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? before be surprised if you had it's honestly kind of exciting well first time and all wait give me a moment Just run off on your own. <laughs> Those are the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. So does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kinda rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Whew. That was unexpected. Thank you, Cloud. Ah, huh. oh, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams. Flowing and blending together into something greater. This time I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... Ah! Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're... Ah! 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 Huh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. Here goes nothing! Woo! Uh. <laughs> you 
You good? <laughs> of course. Compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Someone looks like they're in their element. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> Include stations. Ha ha. We poured so much of our blood and sweat into building that reactor. Now I can't believe this is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Check it out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah. Well, it's got a good view of the reactor. It's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Can I tell you? Cloud, wait! Would you like a bowl of marsh stew? The huh? perfect wait. blend of sweet and spicy? Deck is all clear! Rope's good! Go! Pull him up! <laughs> Let's go! Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. They've got the run of it. Just, just go away! Get back. Didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this Palperon loops around too, so. Get back. I can fight too, you know. That way is a dead end. They would lose some construction, but quit halfway.
Well, this isn't good. <laughs> We can move this. Ah, I knew it. Stronger prey. There, check it out. The heart of the slums. Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> it's awake! I'm gonna wish it kept sleeping. <laughs> Try this. Let's do this. Let's go. That's doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least. No good? That sucks. Ah, try moving that container to make a path. the trick.
Thanks, Cloud. I know you'd find a way. Yes, we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. The Sector 5 slums are right there. What are they watching? Uh. Hey! hey. hey. I made a first roll of the time. Gramps has been feeling a lot better. Oh. What could they I'm possibly standing inside the gut shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? See, there's still a lot of Cowards smoke rising from the rubble. So they don't have to break While the fallen spire. beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder Those rescue efforts, the fires to appear to have been mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, we get a reward oh, or there. something? Uh, That's the director again. of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry hey, Division, isn't enough it? enough of that uh, dooming Excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. No Can you give us any updates on the status explosion. of the reactor? So what kind of, of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, I'm up. All right, let's go. Who's scared of that match anyway? Midgar will stand strong. Who's scared of Avalanche anyway? There can be a war We need to stand up and fight against anyone who tries to destroy our way of life. Man, I can't oh, say where what I'm going timing. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Aerith! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oates. See you. Two peas in a pod. What are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aaron, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together.
Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm... Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal well, yeah. herbs for his patients sure. sometimes. Here's the leaf house. There you are! We're back! And we brought Aerith with us! Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm... What? I thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> Come on. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. This is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <sighs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> <sighs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. That Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Aerith won't be long. That's weird. 
could have sworn I put them here. Take this one. Huh? Uh, Take it. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, right. Off we go. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. Do you think we should pick any of them? Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you, I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Take care of my equipment, you hear? Nah, can't leave without telling her. Cloud, I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, 
but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. At it. Hey, mister, do you want one of these? Years ago. Oh, here for a checkup? Did you know? Finally got pounding. What are you doing there? Uh. I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. One day, I want to grow up and be just like Jesse. Go for it! No! Will he bite me? That's what's called easy money. We even got to be on TV. Hinges on my front door. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. Come on, I know this place is off limits to grown ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there. Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Pretty flower. Pretty blue flower. Won't you talk to me? You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? They ran off this way. Be careful. <sighs> Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just need to <laughs> Get ready. Back back. It's over. That wasn't so bad. Kinda in a rush, so... Here we go. Here it comes. That's that. Shit. See ya. Moving on, then. And they're not alone. Bring it. Get ready. Stay back. That's that. Try to stay behind me. 
That way, I can cover your back. It's over. Here we go. Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. No holding back. Hold on! Get ready. Here, let's finish this. used to be a soldier. He was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. Okay then. Here we go. 
It's over. That's that. It's over. Not bad. Soldier like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was really cool when you went like. Yeah. Yeah. You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Fine. Then how about. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. There's nothing to Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. Then you must be from the legendary... Hey, Cloud! I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? 
Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! See that!
needed on standby for a job or something about uh, Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow, and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. 
Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. 
For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Uh -huh. I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Get ready. No holding back. Shit. All right. Get ready. You're done. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Time to burn. Take over for me. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. One more shot. Gotta go for it now. Enough. What's that? And we're a big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh. Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Cloud! Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Go 
falling fire. Oh, that's weird. You should be right through here. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Let's get this over with. That was close. It's on now. Yeah, here we go. This one's for you. Let's do this. Burn. I won't give up. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? gotta be so tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we.
Get back. I can fight too, you know. Keep it together. Here goes. I got this. Okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say world compensatory damages. <laughs> Can't move in a, a composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense. Uh, no shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 I think we've heard enough. being a soldier. That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> 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 
Control panel up above. I think I saw a control panel up above. I think I saw a control panel up above. The ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it?
down for you in a sec. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. Hold it right there, Here we go. <laughs> You want to pass through our territory? <laughs> then you gotta pay the toll. <laughs> So it's my turn? <laughs> One more shot! <laughs> this one's for you! <laughs> Tagging out! Take it over. <laughs> That's that. We made it! Smell the fresh air? The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Okay. Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Take long. Uh, 
ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And... if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. Uh. Yeah! Tifa? Alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there, where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... <laughs> What's all the rubbish out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. 
if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and 
she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then, how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am! Heads! Huh? Hmm? You lose. Uh. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. Uh. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. I guess they're closed right now. I feel rejuvenated a lot. Talk about a busy day, huh? So what do you say we grab a drink? For God's sake, there's that behind the bank. There's something downright wrong with this place. Huh? Oh, God damn it, Tori. It's not our job to be It wasn't supposed to go this down is like this. This the place? Ah. I think so. to see Andrea. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? It was like. Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. I am but fluttering about. Whoa. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well. Let's try someone else. This is good. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, here we go again. One more drink. What do you say? The direct attack. You tried your seasonal stuff? Oh, 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 oh. 
Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud, let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> That was to your liking. Do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? 
I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. I think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? The doors are now open for tonight's Corneo Cup! What's this? You're here to compete? I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. How deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Uh, it's not your turn yet. 
Your names will be announced over the city. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters. A young couple in the left. Talk about a bad day. And this is their first tournament. The bad first date. And most likely their last. Inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Three of them, one of Wall Market's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challenges? The pole of every eyes! They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The Penguin Stalker! You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blame me. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. You got down, you got Try this. Good. Oh, Here we go. Ah. It's over. I'm done. <laughs> don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate.
That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinal, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple of my ass! The hell you two try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, the Reavers of this trapdown, thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches in town of Walmart market, Bex Benefit! Match of the Corneo Cup semi-final. Begin oh, now. No mercy. Let's do that. did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. 
Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> You gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! better than that. And now, five-time winners of the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with countless kills to their name. Along with a handful of namings. The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sleepy. Come on out. Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Go on. Oh, 
my condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic, 
You have not. No, sir, you have not. They'll be seeing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The Cup's final, final battle begins now. Oh, the battle is joined. You know what you got? It's my turn. Oh, this man will never be able to the meanest of the mean. But can they handle the horror of the hellhouse? Who will come out on top? Strap yourself in, folks, because this is only getting started. Feeling chilly? Finish him off. And it has done it for the hellhouse. That comes to a complete set. You 
Do your thing. in some way. What will you do? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Oh, this 
is full up too. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. And welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Wanna try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I can snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old Terpsichore left out in the sun. You've got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win! Now it's done! <laughs> Not bad at all! You've got this! Come on! I knew you yeah. could do it! Your form's looking good! <laughs> Not bad at all! That's how it's done! You've got this! Yeah. Come on! I knew you could do it! Your form's yeah. looking good! You've got this! Come on! Not bad at all! That's how it's done! I knew you could do it! Your form's yeah. looking good! You've got this, come on! Not bad at all! I yeah. knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! Your yeah. form's looking good! Not bad at all! I yeah. knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! Yeah. I knew you could do it! That's how it's done! Your form's yeah. looking good! Not bad at all! You've got this, come on! That's how it's done! Your form's looking good! Yeah. I knew you could do it! Not bad at all! That's how it's done! Your form's looking good! You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! You should try to get into a river! <laughs> Nothing to it. How? 
How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Wait, wait, it's you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. 
I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? You all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you? Yeah, well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Ah. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I give her a thing forever. That dress is completely overshadowed. She's got a little more to go. This is it. Your destiny. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in the dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I dreamt of this moment. The honeybee is... <laughs> Here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. Oh, the show's about to start. Oh. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. <laughs> it can be bitter, but we can make 
My favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Yeah. <laughs> 
you were born for this. True beauty is an expression of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind! Look at me! I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Just come over I here! I can't help it! It was amazing! Drink. We can talk! Wow! Wow! Was it planned from the start? No, that Probably was a not. show! Did you see their look of surprise? Cloud? Yoo-hoo! Cloud! Hello? Aerith to Cloud! Come in! Aerith to Cloud! Come in! Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! But one must behold such doubt. Get away from me before I scream. Like I give a shit. Oh. Hey, little lady, are you lost or something? Whoa. Here you go again. Stop looking at us. Whoa, that is one hot chick. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. so dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Where are you taking us? 
Come on now. Okay, Daisy. Heather was cut, asshole. And how? You want to throw down the Corneo skull? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lovers this time, though. <laughs> oh, hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. But tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Ladies, time to line up for the dog. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is. Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay! <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests! And y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait! <laughs> Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Rescue Cloud. Corneo's here, right? Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time in a curve like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Huh, can you take hey, over hey, for me? Let's go. Huh. Bring it! Huh. Gotcha! Yeah! Who's there? No surprises there. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! bastard. <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey! Who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, you're close! <gasps> <laughs> oh. 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 
So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? Oh, uh... Cloud... We have to...
have to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it? Sure there isn't something else going on? Um. Lives down here, or was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <sighs> Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. 
Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. This won't take long. chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Locked up tight. <sighs> but not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made. Huh. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'd be a miracle if it still works.
I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Let's do this. It's over. Ha! Get him! Shit. Yeah. Go on! Let's go. Is it? It worked! should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. Never in doubt. This won't take long. That's all. You're done. Sorry. Enough. Get ready. Worked up a good sweat. Guess I got her. Here we go. Going in. Don't close your That's the way to do it.
we should be able to get across. I'll go first, okay? Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. Hmm. Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. On my way. Here we go. I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Focus. Still thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. <laughs> He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be.
This won't take long. Not at all. No holding back. That's it. Yeah. Here we go. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. No, we'll do that. So tired. Go on! Don't overdo it. Let me in here. Get him! This won't take long. Not at all. No. Hey. Oh no. Gotta stay. Some way we can lower the water level. Guys, check it out. Seventh Heaven's water tank has something similar. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey, Cloud. You want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water. Right? Must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. This is a little different from the one at the bar. More... industrial?
Here goes. Spectacular. All good. Could have gone better. <sighs> Try to stay in sync. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! This won't take long. Back off, or die! 
Understood. The Avalanche mission has been approved. We ought to proceed as planned. <sighs> this is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. It's a little late to grow a conscience. <sighs> Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. get lost in here. This is the train graveyard, all right. A real treasure trove of scrap. Sector 7 should be just past that large maintenance facility over there. I vote we stay in the light so we can see where we're going. Dark, dark everywhere. That it? It's deserted and kind of creepy. People don't come around here often. And not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that the train graveyard is haunted. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. <gasps> is that right? I mean, it's not like I think it's true or anything. But you know, it's... Then let's hurry. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. Why would there be kids out here this late? What? Then...
Let's go. Let us through, or else. Get ready. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> it's over. Too. Guys? Seriously? Come on, huh? Well, that's inviting. Let's see what's inside. Well, what do you think? Bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. After you. Mind letting me go then? for a bit. Freaks! Now for chance! 
Let me teach him a lesson. Finish him off. Take him down. Seizing the oak. I'll take care of this. It's you. Things dangerous. I know, but even so. Huh? What the? Gonna need to find another way through. Let's go. Let us through, or else. Get ready. Let's do this. All set. See ya. Get him. You're up. So it's my turn. up there. It's not working. There's no power coming through. I wonder if this is another prank. Someone might be messing with the power supply to make us run around. Do you think they're... 
there's more in here? Mm, looks like. Aha! Found you! Go on! Alright. Shit, don't overdo it. Let me handle this. Watch yourself. Here goes. One more shot. We'll make it quick. Side of this place. I think our only choice may be to find another route. Tifa!
overdo it. All set. So it's my turn? Go on. You've got this. Let's do this. I'll take care of them. This is gonna hurt. You're burning up. You can do it. My turn. Need a light. Deal with that. Let me hear Gotcha. What are you talking about? <sighs> Come on, let's get back to the crane. We should be able to get through now. Let's find out. have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. So you have to stay far, far away from there. All right then, I will. Mm. Oh, you know Betty? Yesterday she went with her daddy to... to... Mm. When is daddy coming back? He might not make it home tonight. <sighs> oh. 
Arlene, what are you? We can't waste any more time here. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. Maybe now we can get to the other side. Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. That's that. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> no holding back. Goodness. Coming through. Out of our way. <laughs> Let's get this over. We're going in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's over. Enough. See ya. <laughs> Never in doubt. This path is blocked too? But we're so close, I can see it. Uh, hey, do you think these trains might still run? Could give it a try. Good call. Looks like it still works. I knew it! Everybody good? Yeah. Huh? Hmm? Uh, I think that's... Flight separation code is... Hmm. Got it. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. We just have to one thing and ever. It's just that...
Would you look at that? Keep your cool. No need to work. Come on. I got this. Take that. You're up. I'll show you what I can do. We'll make it quick. Hey, you ready? Enough. One more shot. Come on. Shit. Don't overdo it. Here goes. See ya. Would kill for a shower. Let's go. Almost there. Come on. Right. carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. You're just trying to help, aren't you?
I'm right here.
I won't let you down. Bless them with your love and grace. What the? That's it. I'm just so. I got it.
What are you? Cloud! Tifa! We have to get past, whatever it takes! Right. Let's do this. What you got? Come on! <gasps> Trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still. Stop. Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sir. I'm going to. I can still fight. Big T. They were shooting at me and he. Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Come on, guys! Help is coming! Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. You're mine. I'm sad! 
Get back. Oh. Gotcha. That's that. Is that it? Don't worry, he'll bounce back. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me, don't let it be for nothing. I won't. <laughs> You're a good man. Giving me that... that comfort. Oh, one more thing. The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the Sector 5 slums. The kids... They're great. I used to visit... <laughs> that you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. No. But you have so much in common. Good luck, Cloud. Our future is in your hands. You're done. Yes. All right. 
see it. into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? <laughs> Good enough. Wait, I know you. Mr. First Class. your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Close one. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. <clears throat> Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? <sighs> Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Come on! Seventh Heaven is this way. Wedge, wait! You guys can't stay here! Come hey, on, come go. on! How else are we supposed to get to Wall Market? Sir, you need uh, to step away from the gate. Uh, you have to open the gate! If you don't let these people through! Back off! It's not gonna happen! Uh, uh, Wedge! I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <sighs> That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we could still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! <clears throat> Close it! No, sir! I will not obey that order! This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just... Uh, wait! Oh. Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. Don't worry about me. All right, I'll get these people to safety. Get this out of Sector everyone. 7, please! We need to get as What's far away on? from Sector 7 as possible right now! Go to Sector 5 or 6! Anywhere but... You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now, please! Hmm? Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time, but... Are they going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! But what good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. Avalanche, I take it? Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Mm. I've got to get to Seventh Heaven. That's it. Oh God, look out! Don't worry about me. 
We can get through this. We just have to work together. Get to wall perfect now. It's too dangerous here. This way. Quickly now. Keep moving. <laughs> Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty! I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! <laughs> You'll be fine. Stop! That way's already... Why Please! Is this happening we need to, to get us? through! This is it! Almost, Almost there! There's still... No! It's not worth it! <laughs> Confirm. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. Change of plan. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. You're Marlene, right? Who... who are you? I'm... a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? <laughs> I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? flower <sighs> I hope you remember it come on What? We'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I could help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your... Uh, 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 
You led us on a merry chase, Aerith. Sung. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Mm. How about we make a deal? Side. Up, 
What was that? So, how'd you guys rate my latest and greatest design? Eleven out of ten? Move aside. Make You're way. out of here, Lee. <laughs> Shit. No holding back. Looks like you guys are having the time of your life. What? What? Seems to be lost control of the top floor. Huh? Our guys are seriously struggling to take down these assholes? Anyway, we may need to intervene personally. Whatever you say, partner. Keep them busy, will ya? All good. Calling fire. They're your last. It's okay, Cloud. It's okay. They were my bombs. They were all my victims. I had it coming. My hero. So gentle. Just try to hang on. I just wish that I could... 
could have had you over again. Everyone. With Mom's cooking. I really wanted... to believe... we could. Yeah. You owe me a pizza. <laughs> That's right. I do. Personal, bitch. Confirmation. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming right up. Yeah? No, you don't. Not when I'm working. <laughs> Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Press it. You ain't got shit on us. Bring it running away, baby. Get ready. So, no choice. I guess I am. Bring it home. Let me handle this. There's no way. Please! 
do we do? <gasps> nothing. There is nothing you can do now. You can't do this! People! I found Marlene! Eric! Marlene! My Marlene! What did you do with her? Where are you? I'm up there! Sir, we're lost. Your activities unwittingly brought you into contact with the ancients, who is now back in our custody where she belongs. For this, you have my sincere gratitude. Alas, the sector in which you stand has been condemned. Ancient? Run! You have to go now! And where exactly do you expect them to go? Uh, Eric! A photo plane separation imminent. Evacuate the area immediately. No, no, no. no. Here goes. And push! God 
damn you! God damn you all! Holly! Holly! It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see.
It's nothing. Let's go. Wait, over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. <clears throat> Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. The first thing we need to do is it true that Sector 7 is pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the villa? Yeah. Biggs, too. Let they were both in pretty bad throw. shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? You'll help with it too. Right. My ears are still ringing from it. This is Sector 5, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't even oh. Oh. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett! <sighs> hmm. Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, hmm. Marlene. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shh. Hmm. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> because she's an ancient, is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. 
about 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! <sighs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was. 
where she'd come from and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So, how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows us sure stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. First it was all like shaking. My ears are still ringing from it. This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. Over there. Take long. fight our way through, but it's our only shot. Time to burn. 
Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs>
Let's see what's on the other side. Finally, I could use some fresh air. Damn it! Sector 6 is right over there. We just need to walk a little bit longer, that's all. Was a lot closer. I suppose you're Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs and some help? Like we had a lot of money. <sighs> My God. Just a little more. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Make room. Mara, you're alive. With me. Ready? And... Great job, guys. Thank you. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can Anybody hear me, say there? something! Tifa. It's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, three! All that's left of Wedge's place? Hey! We're coming down! Stay right where you are! <laughs> this place reeks of Shinra. Oh. 
Tifa! Hey, Tifa! Yes. You okay? I got you! Did you just shoot your way in here? Tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his gas. You're right. We should treat him from that snow.
He's okay. You sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making me worry like that. I'd kick your ass if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go.
Merc. You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? Followed the trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know who did that kind of mess. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. supposed to return to us. <sighs> but if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. Sorry, I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. Hmm. 
<sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please, I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? You should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like Finn. Lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything, except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy howdy. Those stamps in the tunnels? Finn's work. Everyone. Then there's Al, Intel guy. He had these tricks for stealing codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick him. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nelly had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took him for sisters, even. They'd say no way and get upset, but then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong. They're tough. Like me. <laughs> After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please... 
She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Marlene. Are you going? <clears throat> I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kinda... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. Tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. one and five. What do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu-Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece, cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit? <clears throat> No 
one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. I know we're short on time, but let's go ahead and get it done. Just a little further. Hey, you! Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right, I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Do we really have to deal with Corneo again? Got no other choice. What? Did you guys get into it with him or something? I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Hey, Cloud! What happened? Don't recall. I heard Don No one's home.
Long time no see. <sighs> what brings you back here? Well, we need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me. Let's just hear him out. <clears throat> so, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. <sighs> All right. We're in. Say what? He betrays us. He dies. Fine by me. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. You guys ready? Okay. Follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? No one's ever gotten out alive. Well, until recently, that is. You are gonna hold up your end of the bargain, right? Long as you hold up yours, yeah. I don't trust you and I don't like you. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way, I'll turn that face of yours into a honeycomb. I'd save you bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Hate to say it, but I can barely take them on my own. You, on the other hand, shouldn't have any trouble, am I right? Let's get this over with. Head for the trunk line. It marks the border with Sector 7. You three lead the way. I'll follow a short distance behind.
You ask. and big stash the skeleton key down here. I never got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's just keep moving, okay? Hate to interrupt, but the trunk line's just through that door. The one over there? Yeah, we heard you. Made it. About time. This way. There should be a door with Corneo's mark on it around here somewhere. Hey, wasn't this locked before? Your time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, you told me to. That really it? I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. Won't take long. Yeah, I got here. Let's do it. Going in. Going all out. Here it comes. Nothing to it. Wait. We're getting close to Corneo's hideout. From here on, I'll take the lead. So how are we supposed to get topside? Through here. Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry guys, but it's not that simple. Huh. <laughs> 
Take the right. I'm on it! Good days are numbered, rat boy! like his owner. Give it back! Give it back! That's... Give it back. That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. Piece of shit. I'm gonna enjoy beating him to a pulp. Corneo's mine, and mine alone. Huh? Please. Fine.
wait outside. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. Mind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Chinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to play with your food. Dawn out. Fast. First him, then Corneo. Don't overdo it. All set. 
on you. Bring it home! Still here! All good. I'll take over. Throwing at the tower. Hang back. You okay? Where's Corneo? Sorry, bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? She could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? <clears throat> we'll meet again. It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here, and then I'll give you what you need.
that sweet Midgar smog. <laughs> this way. <sighs> Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped-up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find him. You too. Go. Hmm. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. You know, part of me wishes we could do more for the people down here before we take the fight to Shinra. Sure you want to go now? Pretty high. Excited? Oh yeah. Glad someone is. Hmm. Aerith's up there, waiting for us. Then we best get a move on, huh? Ready? Some Shinra ass and save the planet. Go two, save the girl while kicking more Shinra ass and get out. Copy. Gotta be careful. No telling what's gonna collapse or when. Bobby, where did Daddy go? Don't worry, sweetie. Everything will be okay. When is Shinra You're coming to rescue us? Hey, you guys might want to turn around. A friend of ours needs help. It's too dangerous. For you, maybe. Just try to be careful. No turning back.
Here I go. Right behind you. Deal with that. Need my help, do you? Bring it home! Let me handle it. Here! There! You're up! I got this. Bring it! No surprises there. So that's where we have to climb? If it comes apart while we're up there. Ah! We've made it through worse, you know. Yeah, no kidding. It's a miracle we haven't been killed a dozen times over by now. Time for the grappling guns. Try to aim for that part of the rope that's hanging there. Don't screw up and fall. By the way, how well you do with this grappling gun will tell us a whole lot about you. <laughs> Just remember, we can't come back down. Are you ready? I think I see a rope hanging off the top there. Too easy. This keeps up. I'm gonna get bored. Kill team. Huh. We can take him. We need to stay on mission. I know. Saving Aerith is our top priority. guns to get up there. Jump over all this shit. Not much choice. What the? It's them. Avalanche. Two, three. This is one, four. We have contact. I guess everybody and their mother knows we're here now. God all damn. right. Yes! 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 
your mind. Let me do this. Going in. They'll be coming for us now. Where the hell would be in subtle? What do you think? I just hope that this time it holds. Wasn't planning on it.
busting in the Shinra HQ's gotta be fired up. Save some for later. No need, son. I've got more than enough to keep me going for days. Give it all you got. Come and 
You'll help too, won't you? For a price. Yeah. <laughs> 
Such a thing is too much excitement. Yeah. And there's still more to come. Guess so. Hope everybody's warmed up. This is a lost cause. Well, you know, 
Some lost causes are worth fighting for. Let's just think this through. So, I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns please. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <sighs> Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Security is looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Somehow I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback. No, I'm gonna take your time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Duh. How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> Stay sharp. You don't need to tell me Come on. All right. You're done. That's that. You're mine. What's going on? Bring it on. The idea was to not get noticed. Stealthy must die! You never planned to be stealthy in the first place. Don't remember. Let's do this. Let's finish this. It's Let's keep moving. Should be a service entrance in the back. What's the situation? Can't get in contact with HQ. It's over. That's that. No holding back. Come on! It's 
Bring it. Keep those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Who's here? Go. Going in. You're done. Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. This building's incredible. <laughs> but not today. Just keep heading up. So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator, or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? 
think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <sighs> okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? Sure. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. Now, just need to make it over there. Just need to get across those platforms. Thank <laughs> you. 
Captain. That's some fine work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl. But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. I wonder what it's like up there. More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. We're gonna be exhausted by the time we finally get to the top. As long as you pace yourself, you'll be fine. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barry. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass! Oh, that's enough from both of you. Stupid arguments aren't gonna get us there faster. But Tifa, I wasn't... Not now. Save it for the top. Labs and shit are all the way at the very top. Yep, the very top. That's good to know. Cloud, keep an eye on Barrett. Copy. What was that? I don't think I heard you. Speak up. I'll keep an eye on Barrett. <laughs> Thanks for. The assist. <sighs> Whatever. I say it. Wait up. Let's roll! 
You really are doing better. We we gotta keep moving. <laughs> to keep moving. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. Let's go. Tell me, these stairs, are these stairs ever going to end? I don't know. Ask the stairs. I don't think the stairs are talking. Well, duh. I mean... Duh. I was... Joking. That's enough from both of you. Starts now. Okay, let's go. Seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred percent, one hundred ten. 
Mako, supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. <laughs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Uh, uh. Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Uh, contaminants registered. <laughs> We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering crystallization within the reserve tank. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Damn. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Hey, check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. I just need a minute or two of shut eye. Damn fools. Hmm? Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. For our grand tour, visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the keycard in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why has this whole thing got to be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> if it is, then bring it on! Let's get this party started! Man, why well, we gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere? This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know.
sorry to bother you, sir. No. It's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgard and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. Shinra and our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? That was super cool! destroyed a bunch of them already. The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Impressive, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning about our divisions. And the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. Midgar, our home, recreated in one ten-thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. 
Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies! Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into that bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar. Now, moving along. Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. This place is empty. To the hell? Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we've harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized.
Oh dear. Oh dear. A man of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> Possibly have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke, and not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor. What was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. Congratulations. You can call yourself a proud Shinra expert! Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the Corporate Archive. What the? <sighs> Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty suit that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built, that Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. <sighs> Guess we're supposed to follow. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? here if this is a trap you're a dead man you hear Wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. You hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. 
Hmm. Hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Hmm. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian. Nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports. That's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay. They did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh... Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh... Uh... Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? If you think you've found the collaborator, say mayor, and see if he says the best. You got it now? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that, but a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? Do feel free to come again at any time. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop. The price is not negotiable. The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. Huh. That's better.
So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed, so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ivalna was elegant. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes, time for yet another meeting. Sit tight, I won't be long. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation to use explosives to do that kind of damage. Scum sucking cowards don't care who they are. Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. Support is getting overwhelmed by calls. We'll have to resort to AI operators. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. talking to people who look the part. Remember, say mayor. If they say the best, then we have a winner. What do we do? Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's Director of Public Security, who has an important message to share with us. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged by this unconscionable act of terrorism. But at the same time, we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs! Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that Wutai is gonna attack us again? We should be safe here, right? Hmm? 
Are you military? Cool, cool. I guess things have been keeping you pretty busy around here. Have you found the guys who did this yet? The mayor. Huh? Uh, what about the mayor? Never mind. Please, just leave me alone. The mayor. Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. Just training in that thing, really. You work here? I don't recognize you. Can I help you with something? The mayor. Is the best. I was told to expect you. You need access to upper floors, right? That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge, let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. Well, well. You gonna call it quits? No key card until you beat this thing.
All right, I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can find Hojo? A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy on their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. Cloud? Huh? You're Cloud, right? Oh. Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn. So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked. But I told them it was all bullshit. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunso. I'll be right back. Old buddy. You okay? Yeah. But you were just... I'm good. Let's keep moving. Trust the narrative is intact? Rock solid. The people have embraced the Wu-Tai Avalanche conspiracy wholeheartedly. I've almost come to believe it myself. Wu-Tai's response? So far, nothing. And if those cowards do react, all the better for us and our story. Very well. Then we shall stay the course. If I may, sir. There was one other matter. Oh? A message from our man Palmer. Damn it! Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Barrett. That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. Do you think that's where Professor Hojo is? Where he should be. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. I'll wait out here. 
Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. Oh, thank God. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on. Let's just find that duct. Gotcha. On guard duty. Right. So, can I go with you? Don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Just follow behind. I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. Depending on the board's decision, we may start two projects simultaneously. it. I'm telling you, I saw him. With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor. We don't have time for this nonsense. Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea. Enough already. <sighs> If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you... Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, Was there anything else? Uh... Well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction not plan for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, I don't see words, how... Two words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> in their promised land, we will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the Promised Land even... 
<sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the promised land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the Ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> if there is nothing else, Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, please, sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm, were I to arrange a face-to-face... -face? <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <clears throat> Go! 
Don't move. Hmm? I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. You must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The President's upstairs. Go on, shoot! Shut up. Keep walking. None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is. Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case, yes, that might do the trick. Mind speaking up, son? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> you will regret this.
dead yet. by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. But I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Let's do this. You're oh, so you! Get ready. You're mine. Ready. I got it. Get ready. No. Here it comes. You're done. It's on you. Need my help, do you? Looks like your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? Yeah. No, not quite. Oh, now I recall. My memory was mistaken. My boy, you weren't a soldier. What? Oh, what is this fascinating phenomenon? What's happening? Where are you taking me? What are those things up to this time? Cloud! <gasps> Bear it. Got it. Stand back. <sighs> you came for me. Yep. You good? I'm great. <sighs> Thanks for saving Molly. How old you want? Save it for later. Here we go. Yeah. 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 
Gotta be careful. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh. <laughs> Did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? <sighs> Red 13. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? <sighs> he got away. So, we're gonna go get this son of a bitch.
You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes, understood. The VP needs us. Goodness, you're awake. You okay? Yeah. Where are we? Where I lived when I was still a child. My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Are you okay? Maybe you should rest a little longer. I don't want you to push yourself. We're all worried. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the Ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the Promised Land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? Hm. Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barret, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Oh, great! These assholes again! Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. 
They are drawn to those who attempt to alter Destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes, for it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. All of you. And the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze, and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. <laughs> Follow them, the yellow flowers. It's okay. We'll find a way out together. Okay. Weird. Aha! There you are. What are you doing, man? Hey guys, long time no see! Wedge? You're here? You... you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now... <laughs> what was that? An explosion? Anomalous tremors and temperature... HQ's running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush out the president. This complicates matters. Anomalous that explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. <sighs> so now we're trapped in here? Engaging lockdown protocol. No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. Uh. Uh, I didn't ask him to do any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna still chew him out for it later. Anyway, we gotta get to the roof, right? Then we turn to the same elevator that Hojo did. That elevator, was it this way? Yes, his odor still lingers.
Let's go. Right. Hell is this place? Hojo's treasure. Shinra's dark secret. But I wouldn't give to burn it all down. But we need to get to the roof. What is that? Genova. Very, very 
Very good. And thus is the hypothesis proven correct. I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. <laughs> I'd better hurry. Test subject pods? Guess I can use these. Thanks. If we flip that switch, we can get to the other side. Hmm. I may be able to do that. You sure? Yes. Will this do the trick?
okay? Yeah, I'm fine. If you say so. Guess we're out. What's the plan? First, we find Tifa and Aerith. Then we head for the roof. Should be an elevator somewhere. Didn't expect any of this, but we just gotta roll with it. Come on, let's go. out until we indulge his request for data. Yeah. He said something about a ward, right? I'm pretty sure I saw a door to one upstairs somewhere. So, you want to check it out? You two will be on your own. Be careful. Thanks. We will. We'll be waiting right here. If anything happens, anything at all, Roger that! Hey, you think Cloud's doing okay? He's been acting really weird lately. More than usual. True. But it's Cloud. I'm sure he'll be fine. But what about you, Tifa? How are you holding up? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. I guess this has to be the third ward, right? Think so. But it looks like the door's locked. There has to be something we can do. Let's look around. Gotcha. Look! Now they can get across too! We should let Cloud know. the door to that ward he was talking about, but it's locked and we can't get it open. All right. 
About those preparations Hojo mentioned before... I think we're supposed to do something with that. A central terminal. Interesting. We were fiddling with some sort of control panel. Do you see a way to get across now? All right. We'll make our way to the central terminal. Sit tight until you hear from us. The hell kind of research is this? The cataclysm that came from the stars. Genova. Hojo has devoted half of his life to her study. I don't give a shit about any of that. The experiments in this facility involve the enhancement of life forms and machines through the application of Genova biological data. Hojo's plan is to pit his subjects against us, thereby facilitating their growth. <laughs> so this asshole thinks he can treat us like his experiments. I know what fate awaits these creations. Let us put them out of their misery. We must first find a passage that leads to the center. Tough, but doable. <laughs> Control panel. We don't have the means to go this way. Wait a sec. Weren't the girls right by the door to the third ward? There are four switches. One for each ward. research specimen. Access the central terminal. The door should be unlocked now. Any one of Hojo's twisted creations can be in that ward. Be careful. We will. See you in a bit.
win. Ah, uh, what is this place for? There's a sadness. Let's get across with those. Is this really the exit? I hate that man, I really do.
up a good sweat. You think now the others can get across too? panel here a little while ago, so you should be able to get to the other side. Can you check? Roger that. We'll get pretty bored anyway. You two stay there. We'll call if anything comes up. Okay. Be careful. door first. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. Joe's experiments. Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. Take your best shot! Keep it tight. Now 
Now's our chance to kill the bastard. Time for you to pay the piper! They never learn. Personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. <laughs> 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 Be a good boy and keep the other pets company. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, looks like Red might need our help up there. No holding back. Gotcha. Let's do this. No holding back. Shit. Get ready. You're done. You're mine. Let's finish this. Come on, we're going. Where's Hojo? Sorry, he got away. Forget about him for now. Keep it up, man. Yeah, you too. Fine. One step at a time it is. I don't see any elevators around here. I'll let Tifa and Aerith know. the door to the fourth wall. If we want to get in, we'll need to go all the way back to the central terminal. But the door we used to get here is shut. So what now? The passages have to be connected somehow.
please. It's a VHS terminal. Call up Tifa. See if they can get to the central terminal. They just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. Moving. The professor still has plans for us, I presume. For the record, I don't like this one bit. All that remains is the fourth ward. We must trust in Cloud and Garrett to see it through. shower. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. 
This was a good idea, right? Yep. Well, let's go give the others the news. Is that you? Yeah. We found an elevator on our side. Good. Glad to hear it. But we can't use it for some reason. Hojo did something. I know it. There's only one thing we can do. We need to head to the fourth ward, just like he wants. We unlocked it on our side. You should be able to get in. Thank you. Wait for it there. Right. Now we head back to that door. Made Wedge wait a while to be rescued. Guess so. You know, he really likes you. Maybe. Friendly guy, but he has a hard time opening up to people. Well, that makes two of us. He's got your back, though. <laughs> makes two of us. Triumph! <laughs> I 
I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Yes, I believe I have just about all the data that I require. Then, we are ready to proceed to the next stage. <laughs> yes, we got it to work. Could this be a trap? Don't worry, the elevators are safe. If you say so. Uh, uh. Huh? Are we there already? No, something tells me that we aren't. Call it a hunch. I hear something. might be locked from this side. Should we open it up then? Time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. Is working. It appears Hojo's done having his fun. <laughs> Glad to hear he enjoyed the show. We're back again. Yeah. Hey. President's office, and then the roof. Wait! Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Huh? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. I'm ready to do this. Let's go.
was that bastard hiding? And Sephiroth? Wait, I can hear something. Help! Is anybody there? Help me! Please! Hey! Please help me! Is anyone out there? Hey! Please help me! Help me! Well, well, well. Pull me up! I'll give you all the money you want! I have killed plenty of it! <laughs> Thing is, I don't want your money. Please. <laughs> Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. Barrett! Stop it! Get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell them that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? <laughs> that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn! You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everywhere. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt.
the source of everything.
for something special. This death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. 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 Thanks.
Sephiroth! Everyone okay? Hmm. Hey, get your man. He got away. Huh. About time we made our escape too. Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Well, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. You're a soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex-soldier. I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Well, maybe three. Let's get this over with. Get fast. Let's do this. Not bad. I'll try this. Let's do this. Understood. Think you got my number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Good thing I came to pay. Now it's 
just the two of us. <laughs> Let's make it a night to remember. It's all for real now? Yeah. You should be honored. Where were we? Shit. <laughs> I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new beginning. For Shinra! You gotta be better than this, if you're gonna play the hero. on their own you've seen them both in action you know they can besides <gasps> what was that <sighs> gotta believe they made it out i hope so damn it hey screw it we gotta go pay hey. what red get down <laughs> We're cool. Everything's cool. Ah! <laughs> That, that I made a difference. Hey, still in one piece? Yeah, somehow. Open class! 
All we gotta do now is find the others. Have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! Lab rat dog. <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Up your ass. <laughs> Charming. Though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the agent, but feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog.
celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. <sighs> mm, on second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <clears throat> Look. What is all this? Sir. Stand by, sir. Your orders. Bring them in.
It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wait! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> They're coming. Who? This we don't need. Time to go. <laughs>
show you another one. Shit, we got it coming. I'll take the chopper. The fights are all yours, Cloud. <laughs> Yeah. 
okay, asshole. Let. Don't. And you, you're wrong. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. For you. You will. Destiny comes. Drag our asses all this way. This is the welcome we get. <sighs> boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier! Come and get it! Point of no return. Destiny's Crossroads. Then why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Freedom. Boundless. Terrifying freedom, like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. 
those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... their words... they don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, he won't cry or shout or anything. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. You said it yourself. He has to be stopped. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. Thank you, Cloud. Ready? Ready? Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. Let's go. Destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, doesn't change that she's always trying to have it her way. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. I don't know about you, but it looks normal to me. Over there!
Happy to see me? Wouldn't go that far. So that thing, that's a whisper too, huh? Looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the others. We can beat them. Just see. A glimpse of tomorrow if we fail you today. How do 
big one is way over there. However, these guys are right here. Here we go. Here we go. Time to get serious. same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine. Let's do this. So long. 
Where are we? <sighs> I'm waiting, Cloud. <gasps> Yeah. 
lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Never. Till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? 
Let's see. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. Thank you.
Marlene. Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him! We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too! Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche! I miss it. The steel sky. <laughs> 